Hello, 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 welcome. And we are back. It's Formula E. It's New York. Let's get it on. Road to New York. It's up to you, the Big Apple. And this is a crazy circuit. Thinking about it, it is kind of weird, even for a for a track or a city track, which are usually not the, not the most common tracks you see out there. But this one has some really weird corners. And I love the fireworks. There are pretty amazing fireworks going on. I don't see them right now, maybe because it was the 4th of July. I'm not sure. But let's get it. This is a fun circuit. And so this, this last corner is really one of a kind. You feel like you want to do it full speed, but if you're coming too hard, you're gonna have a bad time. That's for sure. Car seems to be behaving much better than last time, actually. I got the new update. It's not locking up, but it was mostly locking up when I switched to the soft tires. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, this AI over here is not working pretty very well. But we'll do the best we can. I do miss the fireworks though. I was enjoying the hell out of that. I think it was Lando who asked, are those for me? When there were fireworks at the end of uh, Abu Dhabi or whatever it was. And he wanted the fireworks to be for him. That's so cool. So we are doing the practice run. I, I break that two sideways. This guy seems to be much more competitive. Then last time, little kiss of the kiss of the wall right there. Oh, this update really works. I really like it. So yeah, that last corner, it's a very rare kind of CT track corner that it goes really wide but then tightens up, it's really fast, it's a very drawn out left-hander. Other than the typical air pins. You have your typical 90 degree corners. Then there's this one. Uh, the grip level seems much better now. I need to really learn how to drive this with this update. Yellow flag, what a surprise.
Ouch. Crash McCurdy pants right there. So I guess we're not walking up even if we slam it. I'm pretty sure I have ABS off. But I also remember it only doing it last time on the soft tires. In the grip, yeah, it's much higher. Now you can do this full with the foot down for sure. The grass you there or out there, I don't know, I wasn't sure. In a spot of trouble. Dude, move out of the way. Can't get a flying lap around these guys. That was on me. Yeah, don't break under that turn. Just pop it on that second part of the turn. That second on the chicane bit. But the first turn you can pretty much do it all out, straighten the car, brake, and that's it. You got it. My bad, I didn't turn the whole wheel, but I should have.
Come on, dude. Get out of the way. This sequence of corners is also pretty cool. It's a chicane into a double right hander. Coming off the main straight. Definitely a ball to play in here. Yeah, that's it. Keep that speed. Put it in your pocket and take it with you. This guy needs to get out of my way. Definitely feels like a new car. I knew there was something wrong before. So I happily went in search for an update and there it was. Clear as day and fun. Let's go. I'm using the number one car uh, just because they don't have obviously the best driver of the lot not to make a final point on it because I'm Portuguese but Antonio Felix da Costa or as it should say Antonio Felix da Costa that's how it should be said in proper Portuguese he's the best driver of the lot and he shows it not only Formula E but in WEC. He showed it in He showed it in Brazil. Yeah, unlike me, which I'm not the best. <laughs> Calm down there, partner. Let me turn the car around. Just hold your electrons. Hold your charge. Seriously? Yeah, thanks for trying to help me turn the car around. But you're not helping. Maybe I can get some clean track now. I just feel like I have ABS on when I don't. You just slam the brakes and nothing happened. I noticed it did it last time as well. On but when I changed to the soft tires, it started locking up. So I don't know what the physics around that is. But I'll just go with it.
Definitely turn into soon. So this is a tricky corner. You have to lose speed, but you can't do it while turning. You have to think a turn ahead on there. I think breaking 75 is enough on mediums. What? What happened? He's pushing me. Remember kids, that's why we have practice sessions. learn how to drive the car again after you tuned it up or modded it up or did whatever you're gonna do with it The best just to lift your foot up on that first part. See, that's where you get the weird corners you don't usually see. way too much time there that's a pretty quick corner even if it doesn't look like it so you lift there pump the fresh here Yep, 75, that's your break reference. at the end of the first straight so lift here break straight pump it down and try to get an exit a fast exit and that's a lap I lost the back end there Ah, no, I wasn't 
I didn't have the car under me. It was swaying. Swaying like one of those New York speakeasies. Whatever it is, I'm terrible at that. Outside, I have the inside, you go away. Definitely all bent out of shape, but these guys are going so slow, it's hard. Too much energy on the inside. And you're too little energy oversteer. I love this last corner, it's so good. So fun. Didn't have the car under me again. It, it's like sw swaying. I don't know why. I'm not applying enough precision.
I know where that flame is coming from. It definitely is not the exhaust. And unless you have a lithium... A lithium battery leak. I don't think nothing there would come out combusting. But not to be ungrateful. There's a free mod for the car, free mod for the track that was updated. I really, I really gotta give uh, a lot of thanks to these guys out there putting in this work, allowing us to have this much fun. It's really great. The effort they put in. I'm sure it can't be easy to do all this with looking so cool and looking so lifelike for a free mod like it barely has any issues at all just very minimal very minimal details easily overlooked by how good it is overall Really is a joy to drive here. Too much, much too much. Over there, pretty much the best way, maybe. Stick to the inside and let it roll out on the exit. Best way to take that corner in the end. Just wanted to see if the stream was working fine. Sorry about that. Okay. So they're all on the soft. I'm in the medium and I'm breaking them in half. 1.22 was my best. They're five, they're running five seconds behind me. I'll try to soft, see if I get any lock up or anything. Since they're all on the soft. I feel something is afoot. It's not the accelerator. Okay, let's reset the view again. Uh, 
make sure I'm comfortable with my position. Walk right down the center of the wheel, hit the button, stick with it. Let's go. Yeah, now we're locking up. Now it locks up. It locked up pretty bad there. It logged up stupidly. I have no idea why, but... That's fine, that's fine. That's what we like. Too ambitious there. This immense gaggle of cars right in front of me. Okay, let's take the clean track while we can. a bit, hit the brake, pump one down, and hit it. I got a good exit speed there. Let's see if we can punch a lap without major problems. Still a lot of locking up there, but that's fine. Didn't lose a tremendous amount of time. Definitely too much speed. Yeah, remember about that, the clean track. Not gonna happen. Stop pushing me, stop the car. I'm trying to overtake. Bot. Okay, let's get the speed. He hit me from behind, I think. I don't even know at this point what's going on.
Yeah, clean track. That's a miss. Oversteering, almost run into the apex, and super oversteering. And their power on the rears, and they just they just slid wherever they could go. Note to self: not a good idea to switch tires. Between practice and quality, if there's this much of a difference, I noticed it last time. I still have no clue how is it possible. Their car won't lock up on their medians as soon as you put the softs in. It gets really touchy on the brakes. There has to be something there I don't understand. Definitely losing a lot of frames there. Again, what the hell? Get out of the way.
Nope, 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 nope. That's, uh, that's it, I'm switching to medium tires for the race. That was it, qualified, done. Okay, let's give it a go. And it did start behind me. Good. I'm trying not to crash into me.
This just feels better with the position of my steering wheel being a bit higher up. The wheel a bit down, it's more realistic. Talking about realistic, that would have wrecked my car. 100%. Since these guys are not putting up a fight, they have time to go activate the chat you'll never use because no one's gonna watch this ever. Still locking up now. So it's nothing to do with the tires. I don't think. <laughs> so now we did lock up, even on mediums. But it doesn't in training, like you can slam them in, in the training. I prefer like this, it definitely gives it an extra, an extra tier of gameplay. up just one of them we have people quitting already we just got underway did they have a major crash there's not even damage to the cars guys come on Maybe I have tire wear on, I don't know. Maybe that's what's causing damage to the tires. Jeez, this cable is so annoying sometimes. straight So different.
Oh, fire guys, come on. What are you guys, some noobs? Are you guys me? From an alternate reality? Getting to the first back markers. Note to self, definitely increase the difficulty in Christ. Check on tire wear and all of that. Jumped all over me.
Hello, hello. Sun Monarch. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Oh, couch sofa. Yeah, I'm a couch sofa potato myself. Welcome, guys. How are you doing today? Are you guys excited for Formula E New York? Damn it, I know I am. What, oh, dude, it's so good. You have to try, you have to give it a shot. It's a lot of tactics as well involved with the power management. It has some of the best drivers out there. People from World Endurance, like Antonio Felix da Costa is the, the, the current champion and my countryman. So many others. It's so bad. This medium. I don't know what's going on with these tires. They're pretty weird. Well, mods tend to be weird. I'm from Portugal, dude. But I live in the UK. Uh, how about you? Oh, there, partner. So it says no aids. Canada, nice. So are you a Lance Stroll fan? He's been doing great, actually. He has been doing great. I actually gained a lot of respect for him. For sure, dude, he's he's good. He's proven himself. He took his time getting there, and he's always really polite and classy. And um, he's definitely rising up there in, in technique and quality and everything. He's a real, um, it's a real great addition to the to the lineup, for sure. I love this corner, it's so good. Oh wow! Obrigado, obrigado. Muito obrigado, that means thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, Verstappen. Well, Verstappen right now is... is more than taking the fight, he's... He's wrecking, he's wrecking Hamilton lately. And it's great, it's been providing great racing and much more exciting racing. This season has been really cool. Oh, come on, Degrassi or Habs or whatever that is. He's out of the race. Can see it's behind the chat. <laughs> Can see who it was. How about those McLarens? They're really waking up. Well, L Lando is anyway. Dude, it's like it's like the crappiest wheel ever. It's a Thrustmaster Ferrari challenged five in one. This brand new was twenty five pounds ages ago. So this is the crappiest ever, but I'm I'm just starting off and uh, yeah, that's it, man. Definitely, if I have, uh, I I definitely if I stick to these racing games, which I'm loving, I'll definitely improve my gear for sure. I definitely been looking at the wheels and. Looking to see what I can get. That's better. But yeah, it's been working fine. Other than a small problem that I don't know why, but the you know the the gear paddle on the oh come on, this AI is so dumb. It's the worst thing about this game is the AI. They simply 
cannot avoid you. They will just hit you as soon as you're get, getting past them. They will hit you. Yeah, guys, I want to thank you for dropping by. It's really cool. I love company. I don't usually get company. So it's cool to see new friends. Yeah, there's no room. But for the city track, uh, this is fine. This is good. This corner is so good. So fun. Oh, cool. Cool, dude. Yeah, that's fine, too. I'm happy with that, too. Um, just happy to be able to share with you guys. Obviously, I love to chat. It's always cool to have company doing what you like. Way too much luck, you know. Yeah, I'm still learning. Mod track, mod car. Really weird tires. I'm still exploring a lot. Um, I've tried so many different things. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's the favorite. But definitely I'm a big Formula One and Formula E fan. And I also love the Porsches. I, I grab a Porsche and take it to weird tracks. Just the other day, I was I grabbed a Porsche, took it to uh, Porsche. I think is a GT3 category. I uh, took it to the old Estoril track. You can get the mod out there in in the interwebs. You know Portuguese track, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It brought a lot of memories from seeing the greats drive there. So I'd say mostly those are the things I'm uh, more attracted to. What I've been doing lately is I drive both the Formula E and Formula One that's going on. So I just drove, I don't know, 250 laps <laughs> of the Red Bull Ring in a and the 2015 Kimi's Formula One. That's a lot of laps for six corners. But I also drove, uh, of course, Formula E on Monaco. Yeah, that's it. That's what I do. I've been uploading to YouTube as well. Oh yeah, I didn't get that one. I've been running the old cars. Oh, he pushed me. <laughs> oh, come on. He pushed me. I was giving him room. I was like putting my car away in the corner for him to pass. That was, that sucks. Yeah, I didn't get those. So I've been using the old ones that I have. Mostly I stuck with the 2015 Ferrari. That's the one I've been driving. And, but I'm thinking changing because once you get really into a track, you want to go with just the gears. Yeah, I have I have those free V10s from their webpage that those modding guys that have a bunch of of cars. Yeah, I'm definitely not being the fastest guy out there right now. Well, I am because these bots, and they're only like at 
80 or 85 plus or minus 5 or something. So they're being pretty weak. Yeah, I was doing the Formula One with no traction control, so factory settings, no traction control. Uh, but I did have ABS on, just to as a little something less in my mind. But now, um, uh, and I mean, Formula Ones are pretty hard to control as it is. But right now, on here on Formula E, because they're they're not as fast. Yeah, dude, it's really tricky. It's really tricky. It's it's over 90 degrees. I think it's like 100 to 110 degree corner. Going uphill. It's a mess of a corner. I mean, pretty much all the corners there are are not fun. I don't think there's a single corner you can say, oh, this corner is really fun to drive, to do, try and do, like this one. This corner is really fun. Like, if you go full throttle, control close to the wall, try to pull it out for to maximize speed on the exit. I mean, that's a fun corner right there. But on the Red Bull ring, all the corners are challenging uh other than obviously what they call yeah yeah Mugello yeah yeah one thing I did uh, starting the game was I played the um, the career the career so I go through all I went through all the tracks uh you know especially the Italians they have them all here um Mugello, Imola, Monza. Uh, there's that other one. I always forget the name. Uh, I always forget the, the other one's name. But I just saw there the race as well. There's Vallelunga and there's yet another one. There's yet another one. Um, but I don't think that one's in Italy, actually. I think it's in... Holland? Magione, yeah, 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 yeah. They're all cool tracks in their way. So I got I got to play on all of them and they all have a lot going for them. I also watch a lot of racing on on YouTube. Like I follow the GD Worlds, I follow the IMSA races. So that's uh, the American endurance. Not just the uh, American; they actually have much more. But they have the um, Trans Ams and stuff. For sure, dude. For sure. It's a lot of fun. And uh, also, I like... Because it, it supports the... You know, here at Seto Corsa. The, those Fanatec races. GT3, GT2. Um, and they're pretty good races, for sure. And... Whoa, 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 but I love the WEC too, I always watch the World Endurance Championship, I actually watch the whole races of the WEC, like 6 hours Spa, uh, 6 hours Portimao again in Portugal, all that stuff, I actually watch the whole race, and again, I'm 
Antonio Felix da Costa winning the LMP2. They were on the podium in Spa and they were first in Portima. So that was crazy there. The guy in three weekends, he won Monaco Formula E, he won um, the, the Brazilian highest class that they have, the Stock Car, Stock Car Championship in Brazil, he won the race there, he was replacing the current champion, which was Hill, Hill and um, crap. And then they were second in Spa. That was in three consecutive weekends. The GD3s? I have to try. I want to I want to start getting into the Yeah, it's It's definitely a matter of practice. It takes a lot of practice and these guys, these professional drivers, they they practice a lot and they just they just have all the fundamentals and they have all the teams teaching them and seeing all the graphics of the curves of the accelerations and of the brakings and also they tune the car for each track which we don't necessarily know how to do Mazda Cup yeah I watched that too <laughs> Sometimes I don't think I watch it as much as the rest, but it does make good racing. That's for sure They're pretty close to each other. I, I love that kind of wheel-to-wheel -wheel challenge that they That they, they have When the cars are really close by to each other That's why I like Formula E so much the way it's designed is to be super tight, super close by to each other, and that although the chassis are all the same, the different drivetrains they're built under tight specifications by the different teams, so they're all different in a way, the way their power usage. And it's, it just makes for such great racing. In Monaco, you had Sam Bird blew his chance. He like blew his last bit of energy. Not his last bit of energy, but the energy he had extra to overtake Felix da Costa on the outside up, a, up Beau Rivage. He went up on the right up Beau Rivage to overtake but the power he wasted there he oh he got overtook uh, close to the end I think he ran out of power but it was awesome it was like a last ditch effort it's a totally different strategy game where it's not how fast you can go only but how fast you can go while preserving the speed and managing the power that you have in the car because you have a limited amount of power to use throughout the race The thing, the thing that they do is in um, they the tires that they use are these basically like sports tires. They're not even racing tires. They're all weather tires. They have one set of tires for the race, and I think they have a set for practice and a set for. Uh, for um, qualify and they use all weather tires 
Because the Formula E, the philosophy is about being racing while being very conscious and conscious of the environment. And obviously, you don't want to be wasting so much. And the, the tires, they're all um, recyclable. I'm still getting to grips with this grip. I don't have tire wear on. And the, the power, the power in the cars, it's like, um, it's like fuel, you know, and they have a certain amount of fuel. Yeah, I'm slowly, I'm slowly going into improving the simulation, uh, the simulation feel and adding more and more layers. Because to be honest, it's been quite a while since I played car games. So I'm slowly getting into it. I do plan to have tire wear and study the different tires for different races. Maybe next uh, Formula One. Where is it? Where's the next? Is it... Is it the one in, in Holland? Oh yeah, I think it is. It's um Oh right, next Silverstone, that's right. Oh that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Yeah, I'll definitely put in a lot of practice there, trying out different tires and going for uh check the tire wear. I might use a different car because I think I can't set the gear ratios on the 2015 Formula One Ferrari. I can't, I, this doesn't show that option. And I really like to tune the gears to, to the track. Although I'm not much good with anything else, with the suspensions or aero or anything like that. Or avoiding the car in front. I do wish I could adjust the, the gear ratios. I have to learn about that. This guy's pushing me. <laughs> God, this AI, why does that? I mean, they could at least see if there's a car crash, they would stop. I mean, it's not so hard. Crap. What the hell? What is this? Ping pong? What are we playing? Bumper cars? Honestly. <laughs> like Vettel always says. You yeah, gotta learn all of that. I know what they do. I just don't know how to effectively change it. I have to study. I have to study all of that. But if I could just adjust the gear ratios on that Ferrari, I'd be really happy. I'll check another one. Uh, I think there's a 2004 and the 2007 where Kimi was champion. I think I might go for that. I have on my YouTube all the these previous races and loads of VR 
uh, streams I upload there because they'll stay there forever if you want to check it out you can see like me driving three whole Grand Prix 72 laps around Red Bull Ring plus the other days I put in woof yeah dude I really like to do it like for real for real like doing it for real doing the real thing so I was having days of practice of qualifying and then uh, I had the full Grand Prix for sure even this one right here what I'm doing is a full uh, e pre because these e pre's they are they have the free practices which I'm doing half an hour each and then they have separate sessions of qualify where they're divided in groups of fives and they go out they have only one flying lap so each of the qualifying sessions is two around two minutes so it's just enough for them to get to the end of the first lap do the and then do the flying lap and then what I'm doing right now is the fully pre which unfortunately you can't select time but in real time in real life it's 45 minutes each e pre and there's usually two e pre's per weekend so there's one on saturday and one on sunday so yeah i put 30 laps considering the lap times i had before so that's about the 45 minutes around this track Uh, it's a motor, thank you. <laughs> it is nice. Look how quiet it is. It's very nice. Electric man is the future and it's done, it's finished. And I won, of course. Yay, champion. You just, you came right at the, at the, at the final moment, Staff Nation, just to see me victorious yeah but um the, the AI was really weak I need to I need to start pumping it up obviously because as I get to practice more obviously I will start increasing the um, the difficulty the V8 sure I mean who I I I like it too I like everything I was just saying I watch so many different things formula one formula e. i watched the uh, imsa transams WEC, uh the whole le mans uh, endurance stuff you know i watch the gts gt world gt2 gt3s I, I like it all i like it all but i like formula e in formula one a lot a lot Definitely, and the WEC. They're probably my three, my top three ones. And there we go, absolute victory. Jerome D'Ambrosio, Turvey, Bruno, no. Me, only me. That was fun. But you can see how weak they are. <laughs> They're really weak. I need 30 laps. I need 30 laps and I should have had one more because the whole e pre's are usually 45 minutes plus one lap. So I'm going to do 32 laps next time. Next time I run this full e pre, I'm going to go for 45 minutes. Well, thanks so much for joining Staff Nation. Let's find something else to do. What do you guys suggest? I'm feeling like grabbing a Porsche somewhere.
And as always, if you can hit that follow button, that would be amazing. Let's go check out Silverstone on a Formula One then. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Should we go Silverstone 967? Nah. Let's hit the, the new one. Let's do... Let's do a one hour practice. Like a good... Like good boys and girls. Good racers do. I'm gonna try a different Formula One. One that I can actually adjust the gear ratios going forward. Probably 2007. Boom, Ferrari. That sounds good to me. Uh, let me see. Categories. Open wheel. Can't see crap. So this is 2013. Does it have the 2007? No. It's 2017, 2015. I don't know. What do you guys think? No, not Porsche brand. Uh, it's really, it really has low, low resolution and out here in this mode. All right, dude. Thanks so much for joining. Whoa. And thanks for the follow. That's awesome. Uh, drop by any time and it was great chatting and be safe out there dude I don't know
Anyone out there? Do you guys know how to change the gear settings out here or it has to be in game? Actually, I don't want this car. I don't want this car. I want... Yeah, it probably has to be in, in track. Let's try the, the 2017 one. Where is the bed?
Hey, Violet's TV, if you're out there, if you're not a bot, let me know, because if you're a bot, you're just annoying. You streamed six months ago. Thanks everyone for joining and I'll see you later. Have fun out there. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye all.